Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla FSD beta strike reset is coming. Tesla shares new photos of the Tesla Semi hinting at delivery soon. Building 20 million cars per year will cost Tesla $100 billion in battery metals alone, studies suggest. And, Tesla Giga Berlin produces luxury model-wise, concludes new street research. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla full self-driving beta testers will soon receive a strike reset, according to Elon Musk, who said that the reset was coming. His response on Twitter was to a question asked by Giovanni Asmar for reset strikes on FSD beta. Elon replied, coming, but so far, we don't know when that would be. Perhaps in the next update. Tesla's five-strike system is focused on ensuring that its FSD beta testers are paying attention as they test the software. When the system detects that the driver isn't paying attention, it gives them a strike. Drivers can get a strike for being distracted, not looking at the road, looking too long at the display, or looking at their phone while the car is driving. Previously, Tesla had a three-strike system, but that changed when version 10.8.1 came out. Not only did Tesla increase the strikes to 5, but it reset all the beta testers' strikes to 0, according to not a Tesla app. Tesla's focus on safety has been criticized by the company's critics, especially those who think that it's too strict. Although oddly, some of these critics falsely claim that Tesla isn't safe. Its safety score is something that potential FSD beta testers have to pass if they want access to the software. In order to pass, they have to drive carefully and safely, Last October, Tesla emailed a few of its FSD beta testers who were using the software improperly. In one email, Tesla told the beta tester that this would be their only warning to keep their hands on the wheel and to remain attentive at all times while using the software. Moving to the next update, Tesla shares new photos of the Tesla Semi, hinting at delivery soon. Tesla shared some new photos of the Tesla Semi on its website recently. Deliveries of Tesla's all-electric Class 8 truck are expected to start sometime this year. It is also expected to be made with Tesla's 4680 cells. Earlier this month, Elon Musk said that Tesla's 500-mile-range semi-truck will start shipping this year. He added that the Cybertruck would start shipping next year. Recently on Twitter, members of the Tesla community found new photos of the semi that Tesla quietly uploaded to its website. Tesla Adri pointed out that Tesla added some new Tesla Semi Press photos and that almost every image is new. The new high-resolution photos show a lot more detail than the previous photos did. As Sawyer Merrick pointed out, you can see the buttons for the deck lights and the trailer air supply with the primary and secondary PSI, which refers to pounds per square inch, a measurement of pressure used to measure the pressure of gases or liquids. Mike pointed out that we can see just how well the rear-facing cameras perform. From the photo, you can clearly see that the cameras help with blind spots. He was also curious to know if one could tap on the screen to release the parking and trailer brakes, instead of having to push or pull them manually. He said that Tesla would need to add a feature to not be able to press those buttons while driving. To do so would be a deadly mistake. It would be interesting to see when Tesla delivers its first all-electric Class 8 truck. Moving to the next update, building 20 million cars per year will cost Tesla $100 billion in battery metals alone, studies suggest. As the push to ramp up production continues across Tesla's four facilities, the cost associated with the metals to produce these cars continues to climb. According to reporting by Mining.com, the cost to Tesla to produce 20 million cars will be around $100 billion in battery metals alone. The numbers come from a combination of benchmark mineral intelligence and Atomos intelligence data. The data shows that the price of raw materials needed to produce the 20 million cars and trucks that Tesla wants has skyrocketed. Back in September 2020, Musk noted, the company wanted to reach production of 20 million vehicles per year before 2030. In fact, for the battery materials alone, 
The price has risen by over $44 billion in just those two years. The jump is primarily due to the eight-fold price increase of lithium over that time. In September 2020, lithium costs were only 11.6% of the total cost. While today, they represent 46% of the total cost. Lithium is not alone, with nickel, cobalt, and graphite seeing soaring costs. However, Tesla is still far from that 20 million per year. As per estimates, Tesla should hit around 1.5 million vehicles produced this year. Via the data, this would put battery costs for Tesla in 2022 at around $10 billion. Moving to the last update, Tesla Giga Berlin produces luxury model-wise, concludes new street research. Tesla Giga Berlin is producing the luxury Model Y, an analyst at New Street Research concluded after a factory visit. The firm affirmed its buy rating with a price target of $530 per Tesla share. Several investment firm analysts visited Tesla Giga Berlin this week, where they met with the head of Tesla's investor relations, Martin Weicha. New Street Research analyst, Pierre Faragu, also had the opportunity to get an exclusive tour of Tesla's European factory and had a test drive of Model Y produced there. Faragu shared the findings in a note to clients. Faragu wrote that he was stunned by the quality of the Model Y produced at Giga Berlin. He expected it to be premium, like a Fremont-made car, but the evaluation showed that the car was already in the luxury league, as its quality was fully equivalent to that of German luxury cars. The analyst believes that the main driver of these improvements is the experience that Tesla has gained at other factories. Faragu came to the conclusion that compared to the Fremont factory, Giga Berlin is clearly much more efficient. Logistics inside the factory are much easier, with docks that surround the factory on all sides and ensure that parts arrive at the right place in the production chain. The single manufacturing line is designed for a cycle time of 45 seconds and will deliver 10,000 cars per week at full capacity. The key factor is that Giga Berlin's vehicles are produced with a single-piece rear casting and will move to rear and front castings as soon as 4680 batteries are available. The analyst reiterated that production with a structural battery pack significantly reduces cost, factory footprint, number of robots for welding, and allows for a much easier assembly. The analyst shared an important fact, that the total production time of a car in Berlin is 10 hours, while Herbert Dias said that at the main Volkswagen factory it takes 30 hours. This fact gives an idea of Tesla's production efficiency. The firm is convinced that Tesla has made significant and tangible improvements in manufacturing costs and will continue to do so in the coming decade, and it will be very difficult for competitors to keep up with Tesla's pace. The analyst cites the example of Giga Press, which manufactures single-piece casts from an alloy, developed in collaboration with SpaceX. The automotive industry tried to make big castings, but gave up without success. Faraga noted that at the time of his visit, Giga Presses were not working, but the factory had a large number of castings. This shows that Tesla's casting technology is already very mature, and the volume of castings is increasing faster than the rest of the production chain. The analyst emphasizes that Tesla is facing unprecedented demand, which even exceeds what he counted on a few years ago. Electric vehicles have become so popular that for Tesla and its competitors, market share will largely be determined by their ability to ramp volumes. Tesla is working on increasing volumes by 50% a year and aiming for 20 million units by 2030. Faragu acknowledges that it will be difficult to achieve the goal, but emphasizes that he sees no reason why the company cannot do it. The analyst points out that Tesla has by far the best cost base in the industry and is improving it by far at the highest pace. All this means highly profitable growth to the great benefit of shareholders. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.